Hi everyone, Svetlana again here. I'm so happy to be with you now again. And uh, welcome to our second live underwater yoga in our lovely Atlantis de Palm. So now let us start. I'm kindly asking you to sit on the crossfit position. If you have lower back pain or you feel that your hips are stiff, please use block. If you don't have it, it's not a problem. You can use bath towel. So it will make your hips higher and you're not gonna feel any pain. So back straight, cross feet, and hands in chin mudra. To your lungs. Observe all your body. Starting from the top of your head. Slowly moving down to your neck. Your chest. Shoulders, your tummy, elbows, your hips. your palms, to your knees, and your feet. Feel yourself. Your mind is calm. Body relaxed. Making deep breath in. Deep breath out. And open your eyes. Slowly, hands moving up, full. Breathe in, you're moving your hands up, you're stretching your chest, your spine. And breathe out, your hands on your knees. And we're gonna start from our pranayama. Please put one of your hands on your tummy and one hand close to your nose. You are making full breath in and breathe out forced by your stomach. And you feel how air moving through your nostrils. Normal, breathe in and breathe out. Again, breathe in, you round in your tummy and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Try to do it a little bit faster. Full breath in, hands moving up. And breathe out, hands down. We're gonna change our position and we're gonna stand our knees. 
on the parter position. Breathe in, arching our back. Breathe out, roll your back. In. Breathe out, roll back, and continue. In, out, in, breathe out, one more breath in, and move your hips to your heels, child pose. Put your fingers on the floor. Try to stretch your chest as maximum as you can and look down. Very good. You lifting your right hand up and left hand up. Diagonal. Hips looking down, engage your core muscles. And breathe in, you stretching yourself in opposite way. Breathe out, knee to the elbow. In, out. In, out. In, engage your muscles of the tummy and back. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold your hand and hold your leg. Look down and start your Kapalabhati breathing. That's enough. Breathe in. Stretch yourself one more time in opposite way. And breathe out, child pose. Standing on the knees, knees are apart. You're moving your hips a little bit forward and you're engaging your glutes muscles. You're moving your hands as slow as you can on your hamstrings. You're just looking up and stretching your chest and your tummy. Slowly, full and deep breath in and full breathe out. Hands again moving in the, in the cat cow position. Breathe in, chin moving up. Breathe out, roll your back, move your hips forward as much as you can. Arms straight, you push it from the middle of your palm. Again, breathe in. Breathe out, you're feeling stretching in the upper body right now, right? Breathe in. And breathe out. Now you lift in your left hand and right leg. You remember that you need to keep always core engaged, your hip bones looking down. And then breathe in, you stretching yourself in opposite way and breathe out, elbow to the knee. Continue, breathe in. Last one, breathe in and start again our Kapalabhati breathings. Stretch yourself a little bit more and breathe out, 
child pose. Keep your elbows on the floor. Release shoulder attention. Through the sides, hands moving up. Again, you're moving your hips forward. And you're trying now to reach your heels. Full breath in. And full breath out. Breathe in. Open your chest more. Hips moving forward. Engage your glutes muscles. Breathe out. Feel how shoulders blades getting together. Hands moving up. And breathe out. I think you already feel how you warm up, right? Again, we are staying in our cow cat position. Now, movements of our spine will be a little bit different than you used to do. We're gonna use our spine like a, I would say, spiral. Yeah? Like a circle. But try to do not engage your hips. Move your upper back. Arms must be straight all the time your wrist under your shoulder. First, roll your back, then move your back on the right, down, arch your back on the left, and roll. One, two, three, and four. And now continue. Make seven rounds one side, and seven rounds in opposite way. Very good. Now breathe in, you arch in your back and breathe out, you're keeping your toes on the floor. You're making downward facing dog. Breathe out. Slowly, body weights moving forward in stick asana or plank in fitness language. And you're doing kapalabhati breathing again 12 times. Downward facing dog. Engage your core muscles. Push from the middle of your palm. Feel how stretch in your underarms. You have stretch in your chest, calves. And again, knees down. You lift in your right leg up and left hand forward. Again, you're doing 12 Kapalabhati. <laughs> Breathe in, stretching yourself in opposite way. Breathe out, you move in your hand back and you bend in your leg and you hold it for 10 seconds, let's say. Hips still down. You're trying to keep balance. Actually, it's tough, be honest. And release in hand and leg. Child pose. Breathe in again. Basic table pose. Left leg up and right hand up. Kapalabhati. 
Bend your leg and your hand to the ankle. Natural smile on your face. And child pose. Slowly breathe in, hands moving up, knees apart. Last time you're keeping both of your hands on your ankles. Full breath in. Full breath out. Again, breathe in. Breathe out. One more time, breathe in. Hands raising up. And breathe out. Downward facing dog. Make two steps to your hands. Feet together. Full and deep breathe in. And breathe out. You stay now on your feet in vertical position. We're gonna mix, we're gonna continue mix breathing with our asanas. Uh, first, what we will do now, we're gonna move our right foot, I'm showing you like in the mirror effect, so it's my left. Yeah, don't mess up. On the side. Yeah, staying in our now left leg and left hand moving up. So your body weighs on your left foot. Looking up and you're doing 12 breathings. Breathe in, you lift both of your hands up. And breathe out, body weights in both your feet and you're bending your body, looking up. Engage your glutes muscles to keep your position more stable. Now move your hands as far as you can and continue 12 breathings. <laughs> Breathe in. And breathe out. Keep your hands close to your heart. Breathe in. Bend both of your knees and keep both of your palms under your feet. If it's hard for you, you can bend your knees. Try to move on that position, elbows forward, right? Release your hands. And through the sides, hands moving again. Up. Now you stand in your right foot, left leg on the side, yeah? Looking up, hand on the chin mudra. And again, 12 breathings of Kapalabhati. Breathe in, you stand on two feet. And breathe out, bend your body in 
opposite side. Continue again with the breathing. And breathe out. Through the sides, hands moving again up on your breath in. Legs are straight. Move your hips forward. Hands now again on your hamstring on the vertical position and just hold the position. Continue your deep breath. Hands moving up and breathe out. Hands close to your body. We're gonna start Chandra Namaskar because it's already afternoon, so Surya Namaskar doesn't fit for us now. And we are making from the standing position full breath in, hands moving beside of your head. And breathe out. Hands on the floor. Feel stretch and can hold your body now. Breathe in, you moving your right foot back on the knee. On Asvasanchalanasana. Yeah. Breathe in, lifting both of your hands up. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Breathe in, Chandra Namaskar, knees on the floor. Bend your elbows, chest and chin on the floor. Breathe out and breathe in, cobra pose. Keep your legs together, engage your back muscles. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Breathe in, right foot forward. Hands moving up. Breathe out. Padahastasana, feet together. Breathe in, hands moving up. And breathe out, prayer position. Now we are ready for the second circuit. Breathe in, hands up. Moving, moving, moving a little bit more beside of your head. Breathe. Out, hands on the floor. Breathe in, you moving your left foot back on your knee, Aswasan Chalanasana. Breathe in. Feel your stretch in your quadriceps, your tummy muscles. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Breathe in, Chandra Namaskar. Breathe out here, breathe in. Cobra position. out downward facing dog breathe in you lift in your left foot and you're moving forward keeping your knee on the floor hands moving up breathe 
Breathe out, step forward by your right foot. Breathe in, hands moving up. And breathe out. Prayer pose. Now we are making full and deep breath in. And we bend in our knees. Breathe out. And we are sitting on the floor, yeah? Legs are straight. Breathe in, we are lifting our hands up, chest open, and breathe out, roll your back, pointed toes. In, breathe out. In, breathe out. In, breathe out. Now we are doing a little bit faster. In, in, last one. Breathe in, put both of your hands on the floor, palm on the floor, lift both of your hips up your feet, chest open and make seven breathings. <laughs> Sit down, making full breath in, Engage your core and now breathe out, stretch to your legs. Slowly breathe in and slowly breathe out. Now you're twisting your back and you're keeping both of your palms on the floor. You're trying to keep your glutes on the floor as well, so you are not moving hips. This is the mistake. You just move in your upper body. Releasing the, if there is pain in back muscles, stretching your core. Very good. You keep in your right hand on the floor, yeah? And you bend in your right knee. Breathe in. You stand on the knee and your palm on the floor. You move in your hand above your head. And now you are moving hand as a circle. One, three times one side. Two and three and opposite way. One, two, three. Hand up and try to keep both of your legs straight and side plank position. Seven breathings. Look up. out, keeping both of your knees on the floor, through the sides, hands moving up, full and deep, breathe in, and full, breathe out. The same now, we are moving an opposite way, foot on the side, stable position on your knee, on your palm, move your hips forward, and hand moving up, and you're making round. 
one stretching yourself as maximum as you can two and three one set and then opposite way one two and three remove your leg and stay in the side plank position seven breathings that's enough and we are moving our knees the floor slowly we are changing our position moving both our legs open yeah keeping back straight engage your core muscles yeah to the sides hands moving up and then breathe out and you move on both sides breathe in breathe out yeah try slowly to be more closer to your toes now we again come into the breathing which is coming us after the such an active session for that we need to put our tongue under our teeth keep your teeth together through your teeth you're making full and deep breath in through your nose breathe out I'm showing by hand as moving air. Breathe in through your teeth. Through your nose, breathe out. Hands helping you to make your breathing more deep. In. Breathe out. To, you bend into one of your legs. Breathe in. Breathe out. In. Breathe out. In. Breathe out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Breathe out. In. Breathe in and you try to move your hands as far as you can forward. You help in your hand yourself with the hand supporting yourself. If you are more flexible, you can keep both of your hands beside of your head and Try to move them deeper. If no, you don't need to force yourself. Feel comfortable and pleasant stretching of your muscles, right? Slowly, slowly we're supporting ourselves. Yes, shake a little bit your legs. If you have a block or a towel, 
please use it because again we're gonna sit in crossfit position and we need to keep our back straight what we are doing first stretch your body top of your head yes and now use your left hand this is left hand first you need to close your left nostril pardon you need to close your right nostril and you need to breathe through the left then you're closing your left nostril and you're breathing through the right Let's try again, I think it's a little bit messy. So you're closing your right nostril and you're breathing through your left. Breathe in. Then you're closing your left nostril and you're breathing through, you breathe out through the right. Now again, like half circle air moving. Through your right nostril, breathe in. And through your left nostril, breathe out. Again, like a half circle, breathe in through the left. Breathe out through the right. Breathe in through the right. And breathe out through the left. Close your eyes and make breathing for one minute. You feel in how air like a thin line, cold line moving through your nostrils. One more round, breathe in and breathe out through the left nostril. Make full and deep breath in, hands moving up and full breath out. You are ready for Savasana. You deserve this asana, I would say. You just remove block or towel which you used and roll your back spine by spine on the floor, open your hands and close your eyes. Make full deep breath in, breathe out. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. Your body relaxed. Mind is calm. Imagine the sun bright yellow color front of your eyes you lining and enjoying the sunshine
feeling how sun rays touch in your body. Relax in your body. Feels you with the sun energy. You feeling how sun touching your feet. Slowly moving to your knees. Feeling your hips and palms. Moving up to your chest. Covering your elbows and shoulders. Feels your neck and head. All your body feels by light, by warm energy of the sun. Concentration of the energy become more stronger inside of you. Light become more brighter. From the top of your head, light burst up to the infinity, surrounding you with the whole universe. Now you are one who is given the light. Now you are one who is given the energy. You make a full breath in, open your eyes and move your hands above your head. Make your feet together and stretch your body in opposite side. Roll on your left side and keep your hands as a pillow under your head. down. Keeping back straight, you are awake, making full breath in, hands moving up, and breathe out, keep palm together. Shake your palms. Use that energy between palms. Stop your hands for the moment. And now increase space between your palms. And slowly reduce. But don't touch. Again, Increase space between and reduce. You feel how electrical pulse between your palms. You feel warm energy. Now move your palms like a circle. Stop your hands and put on your face, on your eyes, on your head, neck and shoulders. Namaste.